Hello everybody, I'm Wes. I'm Adi. We're inside a Manly Fieldhouse on the campus of Syracuse University to do some wireless network testing. We are looking at the co-channel interference effects on throughput where we have two access points that is close together. We have two identical wireless networks with their own SSID, 802.11 and router, wired server and wireless client. We are using the iPerf as a throughput testing tool. The setup has been built up in 8 yard times 10 yard rectangular. We are interested in the effect that co-channel and adjacent cell interference have on throughput. We will run our tests with our access points on channels 1 and 6, 1 and 5, 1 and 4, 1 and 3, 1 and 2, and finally with both access points on channel 1. Our baseline 1AP environment showed an average throughput of 32.6 megabits per second. Our first scenario had the APs on channel 6 and channel 1. We saw average throughput of 19.0 megabits per second and 25.8 megabits per second. Next up was channel 5 and channel 1 with average throughput of 21.5 megabits per second and 20.0 megabits per second. Channel 4 and Channel 1 showed average throughput of 9.5 and 9.0 megabits per second. Channel 3 and Channel 1 showed an average of 8.7 and 16.4 megabits per second. Channel 2 and 1 had 13.4 and 12.4 megabits per second. And finally, with both APs on Channel 1, throughput was 15.9 megabits per second and 23.1 megabits per second. Our results show that it is best to use the standard channels of 1, 6, and 11 while in the 2.4 gigahertz range, even in the presence of other APs on those channels. The adjacent cell interference was much more noticeable than the co-channel interference, resulting in greatly diminished throughput as the second AP was cycled through the channels between 6 and 1. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.